Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining us on this, uh, our first Facebook Live. Uh, so I'm here today. My name is Linda Donini. I'm with uh, AIA Canada. I'm the Vice President of Member Relations. And I'm here to talk about uh, the recent press release that we had that we issued yesterday regarding AIA and CIAA in Alberta joining forces. And I have the pleasure of having with me today Jean-Francois Champagne, who's the president of AIA Canada, uh, to talk a little bit about uh, this uh, wonderful union that, was, uh, that just occurred. Great. Yeah. Well, good morning, Linda. Good morning. Uh, good morning, everyone. And thank you very much for joining us here on Live Facebook Live uh, to talk about this, this great announcement. And yes, that's right. This is, this is a great uh, partnership between AIA and the CIA. So um, essentially, the uh, Canadian Independent Automotive Association of Alberta has now joined forces uh, with AIA Canada. We're very pleased to make an announcement. And this will enable uh, automotive service provider uh, based in Alberta who are members of CIA uh, to get also in our national voice uh, through AIA Canada. And we also are very pleased at AI Canada to be able to get a, a greater engagement uh, in the province of Alberta uh, with uh, ASPs from uh, CIA. So, so tell me, JF, can you elaborate a little bit as to what some of the benefits would be for CIAA to join AIA, and what does that uh, look like in terms of uh, participation? Yeah, great question, Linda. As you know, uh, we're always looking for synergies, and you know, you always said strength in numbers. And this is, this is a great example of uh, where we're being able to join those forces. And for CIA members uh, based in Alberta, it's to give that, that national perspective, um, be able to be supported by a large national organization that is advocating on their behalf at the national level. Uh, but also for us at AI Canada, it's enabling us to be better connected uh, with automotive service providers, uh, be a better uh, understanding of the local issues that are impacting uh, the sustainability of the automotive service provider in the province of Alberta. And I think that this is where the mutual benefit uh, of this partnership really you know, comes, to, comes to mind. Yeah. Great, thank you. So you mentioned that uh, the CIAA members now become participants in the SAP program of AIA. Uh, so what does now the CIAA structure look like going forward? Good. Well, uh, you just mentioned the ASAP program we launched earlier this year, the Automotive Service, the Automotive Service sorry, uh, Associate Program of AIA. And what we did this earlier this year was really to signal um, AI's intent to, to be really well connected with the ASP community. And so uh, by launching this program, it became a, a great extension of to have now CIA member join as uh, ASAP participant. And it's exactly what's happened with this with degrees announcement. So beyond the partnership, you're also going to be able to have those uh, local ASPs in Alberta uh, to gain access to a suite of service uh, and, and products offered through the ESCP uh, program, uh, as well as always as to be part of that, that national voice that, that's AIA. Great. Thank you, JF. And I just want to remind everyone that I do have, uh, we do have access. We're, we're on Facebook Live, of course. So if you have comments or questions, please feel free to, to send them through and uh, we'll, we'll answer them as they come along. Uh, but in the meantime, can you explain a little bit what the structure of the CIAA will look like going forward and what will uh, our involvement be, if any, uh, into that new structure? Yeah, so yes, there has been some change of structure. A CIA has made some changes to their bylaws as a result of this, this partnership. And, and we'll be announcing a new board of directors of the CIA shortly. Uh, but I'm already uh, able to tell you that um, uh, Sean Cruselli, who is currently our uh, executive uh, director for the Western Provinces at AIA, is also going to take the additional responsibility of becoming the executive director of the CIA. So again, uh, getting the, this great synergy at the local level, uh, both between you know, the provincial CIA and uh, AIA National. Thank you, JF. So I, I don't see any questions coming through, but I did have uh, another question that I wanted to ask. Um, so in terms of this new recent development, do you see any other regional associations seeing the benefits and wanting to partner as well uh, somewhere down the line? Well, that's a great question, Linda. You see at all level of the supply chain at uh, the automotive aftermarket, we're seeing consolidation. We're seeing people joining forces, strength in numbers. And, and this is no different for association. And this, I think, probably you know, what led to the partnership with CIA. So the short answer to your question, yeah, I think we're going to see uh, um, 
better working relationship between the various partners. Uh, what we've seen today with CIA is, is one expression of uh, joining the forces. And uh, there's no doubt in my mind that we're going to see more and more of these partnerships occur in the future. And we're always open you know, and looking forward to, to have those conversations with our partners for sure. Yeah. Great. Well, I think that's, that's some great news. So thank you very much, Jeff. I don't see any comments or anything. So I think maybe we can wrap it up there. However, I do want to invite uh, participants, whether you were invited to the um, conference or not, but if you do have questions or comments, please feel free to contact us either through our, web, uh, our Facebook page or uh, directly at AIACOMS at AIACanada.com. Great. Well, thank you again, Linda. Thank you for all for participating in this uh, event and looking forward uh, to have you on to our next event uh, uh, in the near future. Great. Thank you. Thank you very much.